Over the years, gymnastics routines have become very formulaic and even predictable. Most gymnasts perform the same range of skills, and the code of points doesn't exactly promote diversity and originality. Whether it doesn't fit properly in the composition, the actual reward is pretty much non-existent, or the likelihood of large deductions is high, the reasons for the lack of variety are diverse. In this video, we'll take a look at five balance beam skills that are not present in a single elite routine in 2021. Also known as a full twisting corbett mount, it consists of a round off at end of the beam, followed by a flick flack with a full twist into swing down to cross straddle sit. This D-rated beam mount is named after Vasiliki Tsavadaridou, who represented Greece at the 1996 Summer Olympics. The Rulfova, which is a similar element performed on the balance beam, has also disappeared from most routines since 2008. It's valued at D as well. The garrison on the balance beam is a variation of the Valdez, which consists of a walk over backward from extended tuck sit and is valued at B. This one is described as a kick over backward through horizontal plane with support on one arm and carries a C value. It's named after American gymnast Kelly Garrison, who competed at the 1988 Summer Olympics. Gymnasts must have an element or choreography touching the beam with a part of the torso to avoid a one-tenth deduction, so this element would be perfect for that. Plus, it would almost look seamless if mixed properly with the choreography. The aerial walk over forward landing on one foot is quite common in most routines nowadays, but not the version landing on both feet. The two acrobatic elements are valued at D, but the aerial walk over landing on one foot might be easier to connect to other skills, and it also looks more aesthetically pleasing when done with straight legs throughout. Nevertheless, landing on both feet would be a refreshing take on the skill. The Toussac consists of a flick flack with step out from side position. It's named after Canadian gymnast Yvonne Toussac, who submitted it at the 1999 World Championships. This acrobatic skill is rated D in the 2022 code. Dance elements from side position were popular during the 2017 quad, but the same cannot be stated about acrobatic ones. The Phillips mount is a mix of strength, balance, and flexibility. It consists of a press-to-side handstand, followed by a walk-over forward to side stand on both legs. It's rated D and carries the name of former American gymnast Christy Phillips, who was widely known for her incredible back flexibility. Unfortunately, presses or jumps to handstand that showcased control and strength are a thing of the past as modern gymnastics focuses heavily on acrobatics and tumbling, as well as connecting elements to boost the difficulty score. Which one of these is your favorite? 